Report Home Bats episode number 25. Move from Ranch Show. Today we have the Romanos and once again, the merch shirt. He's double different in an episode. So, boys, how are we doing? And what, uh, what are you guys' opinions been on the show so far? Like, what do you guys think of it? Of what, you, of what you've seen? Oh, it, it's been great. I mean, three of our roommates have been in, in, the, in the episode so far. Oh, I guess four of them have been in it now. Yeah, I guess four right now. We're stuffling camera all of Yeah, in yeah, camera yeah. Camera yeah. now, too. So four of our roommates have been in it. We love the show. We love what you're doing here. And, and yeah, I'm, I'm excited to be a part of it. Yeah, we're, yeah. we're really happy to be here. And, and thank you for having us. Thank you. So, um... What are your guys, like first memories of meeting me or coming into Brock? I know merch, you're not at Brock, but memories of meeting even the Romanos or even me. Like, what's that like? Or anyone in this house? We'll let so, merch start because he's got the he got the dated back. <laughs> yeah. well, so elementary Go school for these guys. Yeah. yeah. So clear metal. Um, New Mark, J Mark, J Mark, yeah, 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 for sure. Like when we were tiny, 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 yeah. Before I can even remember, remember anything. Yeah, 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 yeah sure. no merch. And then bowling, maybe a month ago. <laughs> <laughs> bowling at Parkway Social, Soto St. Catherine's bowling. I met merch there, so. And uh, I met I met Luke in my first year here at Brock. Yep. We played on the same love team. And yeah, we had a good season. Great commodity of guys used to go out all the time, and it, yeah. it was just a really fun time. Definitely. Yeah. And uh, not a big deal. Me and Dante on the All Star team. We were we were on the All Star team. St. Catherine versus Hamilton. Rookie sure. rookie All Star team. Good for, for us. I want to bring that up because it's like kind of kind of humble <laughs> humble brag. I, I, would, I would get. I would say for me, like I met Luke. So I did a victory lap year. I was playing some lacrosse at Everest Academy, and and I I, I met Luke through that. Yeah. Like I mean, through coming up and visiting Dante and, and yeah. some of the other buddies that I knew at Brock and, and getting to watch them play in the All Star game and stuff, so, so that was great. And yeah. like like Mer said, I've known him and obviously Dante yeah. since I was four. Yeah, before you remember, before you remember yeah, anything, obviously. So. Exactly. <laughs> so I want to talk about um, what do you guys think of Brock so far and merch coming out to Brock? What are your experiences like just living in St. Catharines? Oh, I love it, man. Like I don't know the school side of it, but I know she hands. Uh, it's special, not, it's not about the bar. Oh, sure. I bet. The bullfrog. Shout out. She, she Shout hands out. an L3. Shout out. Oh, yeah, yeah. L3 but. on Saturdays. Uh, cheers to that. Yeah. Uh, no, yeah. I don't know. I, I have nothing nothing to complain about my degree and everything that's going on so far. I've learned so much and it's uh, I couldn't have wanted my education to go any other way. Definitely. Yeah, I, I have nothing but good things to say. Like Brock has always treated me with like the most respect. It's, it's been great to be here. So, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm amped. Definitely. It's awesome. And before we get into you guys three together, I want to talk about lacrosse, maybe with the, the twins. Like, how was that for you guys, and what has that experience been like? I know you guys just won the cha- the national championship with Bagataway this past year. Yeah, like, so, so like I said, I, I took a year off, and then I guess Dante and Luke's second year was, was my first year, and I, uh, I made the team, luckily, and we, we had a pretty juggernaut of a squad, and we went all the way to Bagataway. I think it was a semifinals, and we couldn't close it out, but... That was pretty heartbreaking, but luckily this year we, we came back in my, so we took the COVID year off, obviously everybody was affected by the pandemic. Yeah, and then um, now this, this year currently that we're in, we, we ended up winning the national championship. So that's been great. It was, it was Dante's first year. I was like, just throw it over to you. Yeah, I guess, uh, unfortunately I didn't make it my first year, but you know, everybody battles adversity. But in my second year when Luca made it, I actually had a torn uh, ACL, got my surgery and was ready to make it back and this year I mean we had a couple all Canadians and you know we made it work like this year was we had a hell of a team and we just made it happen I mean over time against Guelph I, I couldn't have picked it any other way I mean yeah it was it was totally electric it was, it it was, was surreal I, I think we could yeah. both agree that yeah it's it's got to be up there for my top three yeah sporting events like for sure sporting victories like it's it's up there the, the best things i've ever experienced so it's it's yeah. been great and th- definitely one of the best teams you've been a part of i mean oh, that camaraderie we've had and i know i said it before but just we it was just a tight tight group of guys yeah, that such, just, such a tight yeah it, it was, the best way to describe was a family yeah definitely 100%. that's it and i know switching over from lacrosse to hockey all three of you put in the same hockey team i know Maybe a few pounds racked up. Not like, maybe, <laughs> not like intentionally. Maybe, yeah, well, maybe, like, maybe. we'll start with Merch on this hard one. Playing hard, sticking up for your team. I, I, not, not all of them were just stupid penalty. We, we like yeah. to stick up for each other. Like this, yeah. this three, like we said, like JK. A fam- this is a family are, right here. These are like a family here. Yeah. So, so. Um, yeah, you know they've been uh, they've been uh, close to each other. These three. So we guys want to talk about that a little bit. You want to start? Yeah, the <laughs> start off. So I'll get it straight first. So I think our penalty 
like our penalties weren't like lazy. No, I, I, we're there. not they dirty were, players. Yeah, no. they're not. They're not slashing and tripping. Not not that kind of stuff. I think they were mostly just like hits that were like like wow. late hits, little, yeah. sticking up for each other. Yeah, like yeah, I think I think when you play like even when you when our, you're younger. He, well, even when you go back to our midget year when we played most, our midget years, sorry, when we played most with each other, like, the, the hits that are big and loud are the hits that draw attention, hits that yeah. refs don't like, right? Yeah. And, yeah. And so three, you guys are all, like, three physical players, like, don't yeah. lay their body in the line for the boys. Like, I know, I know, I can say personally, like, almost three years in a row, I got suspended in the silver stick for, like, boarding every year. And I know yeah. Mertz has been, oh, yeah. Mertz has laid a couple huge hits that were completely clean, but... Like, look at the kids, muscles kids, on kids. this three guys. Like, come on. You got like, look at no, that. No, but I, I think what it is is that when we're younger, kids get hurt, and it's, it's a huge reaction from the fans, and that's just something that yeah. it's it's taken the wrong way, I think, yeah. even if it's a clean hit. Yeah. Like, and I'll, throw the, I'll throw the photo of these three in the box together, <laughs> like, right here, but... Great, great picture. Yeah, at the same yeah. time, like, these guys are just, they're, they're working hard, they're doing what the coach wants, and, yeah. I so, think you what else could you say about yeah, what else you yeah, say I, I mean I mean you can't say anything like you, you can't say enough about these two guys as teammates right like we I think the three of us right like we we were in a position our two midget years we played with the 99s our first year and then the 01s our second year we were in great positions to win the OMHAs and and we never really got it done but we're three guys that we had letters our uh, our second year right so we all had letters our second year and and it was um it was super special, and we're three guys that will do whatever it takes to win, right? So, it's at, at, at the point like you guys said, if it's a loud hit, or or sometimes fans might might not like the hit. Sometimes the, that's what happens. The refs make a call, but I wouldn't call us dirty players. But we'll, we'll do anything what it takes to win. You know what I mean? Definitely. Yeah, so, like in my case too. Like I wasn't like a big goal scorer or anything, but I always knew if I could get a hit. That's like a goal to me, right? Definitely, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? But I would, I would, uh, I would compare this guy to a Zach Bogosian who, <laughs> hey, <laughs> what, hey, what, hey, not, not to, hey, first overall pick, I'm just saying, but yeah. uh, I would just say, like, this guy would lay it all on the line for our team. And like, like you said, maybe, maybe not putting the most points on the board, but blocking shots, making big hits, Definitely. defensive plays, like, this guy was a, a key part of our team. Yeah. And like I said, all three of us were leaders and a big part of our team, and I wouldn't have it out of the way. Like, I love these guys. So. Definitely. And Bogosian, like, he's won a cup last year for the Lightning, so oh, yeah. that's not a bad comparison. Yeah, I, I, yeah. And I played in the GTHL, so I never had to face these OMHA guys, but, um, yeah. Seems like these guys are absolute grinders, great hockey players. And I want to end it off with a little bit of a game of, um, would you rather? So you guys can all pick which one would you rather. Okay. And I'll name off, like, four or five things, and let's see if you guys should pick. So, first one being, would you rather eat... Pizza or have a nice burger and fries? Oh, I'll, I'll, go first, I'll go first here. Literally, you can ask my roommates, you'll never find a bigger pizza head other than me. Like, I'm a pizza head too. I so could, like, the, pizza, dude, pizza. I could literally eat pizza, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Like, yeah. If I didn't care about working out and shit, that would literally be all yeah. that I eat, man. Yeah. Like, That's fair. Put me up against Dave Pornoy. Like, I, I, you can ask <laughs> well, Colin. Well, the rules, Luke what? Romano. Oh, yeah. Like, Five, I'm, nine. I'm, I'm, fully, I'm fully into it. Like, pizza all the way. All, right. all the way. Merch, what do you think? Oh. Um, Pizza hurts my tummy, so I gotta go. <laughs> oh, bird, eh? Burger, burger, yeah. fries. burger and fries. Dog I think fries? I think I don't know. I think for my family, we used to always like pizza's a huge thing. Yeah. I mean, being Italian, so I might have to go with burger and fries as well. Oh, yeah, oh I might have burger to. and fries. I mean, you you can never go wrong man. with a nice burger and fries. Yeah, I think. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. All right, next one is: if you're out on a vacation, are you by the pool or are you by the beach? Oh, it's our dog. Are we? Uh, uh, it's our, our dog first. Actually, is it is it all so. inclusive? It's all cruiser resort, oh. and you're uh, you, you have the pools obviously there, and the, you're on the beach. You know what? The even then, even then, I'm going by the beach, especially if there's a big ocean. I mean, I'm huge into the waves and swimming into that and stuff like that. And you, you can always go back to your resort and swim by the pool and yeah. into the pool bar. So, yeah. I gotta say the beach too. Such yeah. a good vibe there. Yeah. 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 I am gonna be the oddball here, I guess. Again, uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to the pool, man. You always get a nice pool bar. You always get everybody hanging out by the pool, like yeah. any. All the all inclusions I've been at, you can you can go. Oh, I think I've only been to one actually. Eh? You, no, no, two maybe, including uh, Florida. But you you can always go down to the beach and enjoy the weather, but enjoy the enjoy the waves and stuff. But the pool bar and everything, that's where all the fun happens. I think Definitely. that's that's the best spot. Yeah. Definitely. All right. Next one is, say we're in school, high school, whatever. Are you guys taking math? Are you taking science class? We'll start with uh, 
This guy, Merch. I'm Merch. 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 It's gonna be easy. I was gonna say science. Was, uh, <laughs> Josh science. Warren, who who's with us this weekend, he got me through math, so I got to say science. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, science for me. I don't know if you guys can go next. Uh, I'll go next. I'm, I'm in a science based program right now, so science all the way. Math yeah. is not my strong suit, so I'm, I'm definitely science. Yeah. I'm uh, I'm in psychology, and it is it is science based, but there's quite a bit of math with it, so I'm going to have to go with math as well. There's, there's quite a bit of evaluation. Psych based. So. There we go. You know, oh, you come on now. <laughs> All right, next one is, I know we're all like hanging out tonight and we're all wearing the same thing, kind of, but are we going jeans or sweatpants on this regular day? Like any day. What do you guys like, think? Like, what, what, think, are, we, what are we saying any day? Like, like we're leaving uh, the house or we're just hanging around the house? Like, we're planning, like we're hanging at the house. Either way, we're, we're not going out. out. No, bro, we're going to leave out. We're going to leave. But we're not going out. like out, 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 out. You no, like, I mean? mean, like we're going to like, like we're going to Kelsey's. We're down the road right now. So oh. what? So it's not what you to wear to Kelsey's. Yeah. Oh, I'm not def- going to like a bar though. Yeah, I think cabins. I think I have a brand new pair of jeans that I got yeah. from I think H and M. They're like above the ankle crop jeans. I like pull them up a little bit. They're nice on the legs and stuff. They're they're a little ripped. They're black. They're they're super nice. I'm definitely going jeans. Never <laughs> sweat. Pa- we need the house. Wait, never sweatpants unless you're going to school. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I'd, I'd say sweats. Just gonna like, yeah. help you all the time. There we go. Yeah, so. yeah Kelsey's I mean, too. I don't know. Like, yeah, like uh, if if we're not going like out, out out, I guess yeah. if that everyone knows what that means. But yeah, if we're not going out out, I mean, I, I would do sweats as well. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm more more for comfort than style. If I'm there not we go. Yeah, just to impress. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and the last one here. We're entering winter soon. We've had some snow coming into the mix. Are we more winter guys or summer guys? Oh, oh I, tough one. I don't know. Start with, I isn't it, start. isn't it weird that we all like? I mean, you like lacrosse and like summer sports, yeah, yeah, so like yeah. it's kind of weird that we all are like super invested in both sports. Because I get this question all the time, and like I guess I'll start it off. Like, all right, this I, question, I, it's hard because our our lacrosse really like got started again investing in like the second half of our life, and we were super invested in the hockey, and that never got like that's never getting rid of. So it's it's, it's difficult, right? Yeah, I I think I'm. From sport perspective and what I just like to be out in, I'm gonna have to go summer. Like, I'm not a huge snow guy. Like, I, I love, I love snowboarding. Like, it's unreal. I've, I haven't had the opportunity because of hockey to get that good at it. In these past couple of years, I've, I've got to hit the slopes a lot. Like, hitting uh, snowboarding and stuff with my girlfriend. It's been great. And, um, like, I'd love to continue doing it. But, for as of right now, like for me, I think summer is where it's at. I like the hot weather. I like, I like you know wearing summer clothes. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, I, and lacrosse is my favorite sport at this point. So I love all the things that summer brings me. Yeah. What do you think? What do you mark? I gotta say summer too. Summer. I just yeah. love the heat and everything. Yeah. Like and we, going back to the beach and everything. Like just thinking yeah. about that's amazing. But just throwing the five inch shorts. The, yeah. Uh, oh exactly. yeah. The, the Wait, get, the, get the quads. Get yeah, the quads firing. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Hundred percent. All right, well, I think I, 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 quick little tip yeah, here. No, no I think for me, I'm going to be the odd one out and say I like winter better because I don't know, like everything in summer just like is to me, it's kind of the same. Like in summer, you just have like a certain amount of things you can do. But in the winter, it's just the, the unique things like ice skating and yeah. going to volume, that kind of stuff. And I also I would throw it back to this. But when you're too hot, it's like when you're really hot. It's hard to get cooler, but when you're really when you're really cold, it's a lot easier to get warmer. That's fair. That's fair. So, yeah, that's, yeah. yeah. It's, it's an interesting thing to think about. Yeah, yeah. it is, 100%. <laughs> well, I want to thank the Romanos, Dante, Luca, the Merchster in the middle, Mr. Brad, come on Luke Romano show. And uh, any last things to say, guys? Hey, thanks for having us, man. Thanks for having us, man. No worries. Yeah, yeah, definitely. We love it. Let's go. And we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Take care, everyone.